All right, let's get it. Neighborhood wars. And I got you on video that you're destroying my car. A dispute over a parking spot has sent this hammer-wielding neighbor into a fuck? rage. Why does she have two hammers? Out of this neighborhood. Yep. Cool, lady. Call the police. The woman's neighbors have made claims of racism and harassment since they moved next door to her oh, over a year ago. Hell no. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, puppy. As any responsible dog owner will tell you, there's a right way to deal with this situation and a wrong way. Wait, no way she just leaves This it. woman chooses to walk away mm. without picking up. Ah, uh, that's not good. He called the shit poop. <laughs> Stop letting your dog poop on my lawn. That's your dog. Please pick it up. I feel so bad for the this dog, dude. The dog day. just wants I'm to shit. Every day, I have you on video. Pick up after your dog. Please pick up after your dog. <laughs> dude, he's still yapping at her. What the fuck? <laughs> In the middle of the night, he's still screaming through the megaphone. The SUV that just passed by in this quiet corner of Oklahoma City has a 16-year-old at the wheel. He's planning on putting on a show for the neighbors, no. attempting what professional stunt drivers call a reverse 180, or J-turn. That's a fail. Oh my God! Astonishingly, the shocked teenager walks away with only his pride injured. He unscrews his can, pours the contents on the doormat, and then sets it alight. What? Inside the apartment asleep is Susie Rios and her two young granddaughters, who she's babysitting for the night. My first thought is, I have to pull this fire away enough from the door so that I can get to the door and bang on the door, ring the doorbell to wake everybody in that unit up. That's crazy, bro. Shout out this guy. Having just saved his neighbors, Miguel then chases down the arsonist. No fucking way. He can hear my footsteps and you see the fear in him. No motive was ever given for his actions, but 23-year-old Luis Menendez was charged with arson and attempted murder. Arson. He was found guilty and sentenced to five years. Wow. You got five years for that. Level two arson is punishable by 10 to 30 years in prison. Fine is up to 10K. Level three arson is punishable three to 16 years. Don't park here. Don't, Don't park, park, park up against Don't my Please stay six feet away, coronavirus. You <laughs> are Karen. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Charge towards me. Karen took a tumble. And my reflexes, they're just too Karen's fast, down. And my arm extended and she flew back. We got a Karen down, chat. We got a Karen down. Call the cops. I got it on camera. I got it on camera. I got it on camera. Oh, she got ketchup on her head? Oh, she fell on a hot dog. In Kansasville, Wisconsin. Not all neighbors are of the human kind. This is Tim, a wild turkey who's well known on this particular street. Oh, look at this big ass gobble thing, bro. I just want to walk up to a turkey and hit his little ball sack neck. And often has a friendly greeting for his human neighbors. Did it go in the car? <laughs> Oh, I thought it went in. <laughs> How is this a neighbor? Are you neighbors with turkeys? It's your new neighbor. If you have a party that big again, I'm calling the cops. It's too loud to not be a part of that. You invite me next time. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as fuck, dude. Where a woman is ringing someone's doorbell. And with this many clicks, it's clearly a matter of some urgency. <laughs> dude, what is she doing? <laughs> Your orange cat. If your cat doesn't stop and eating and biting all of the things at my house when I don't own a cat and you do, I'm going to get the police involved. But 
you know what? That's fine. We can go ahead and get the police involved. That's totally fine. Oh, the there she goes. Doesn't call the police. With the Karen and cut. The she had the, the one side property. long Karen cut, bro. Which neighbor is actually the one throwing the cups? The spy oh, they're gonna is get a great caught, idea. Dude. But sometimes the evidence just falls in your lap. Holy No f fucking way. Have you been throwing these in my yard? No. Oh, red hand. No, I haven't. You've been throwing these in my yard. Why? I wouldn't throw those in yours. Nothing to do with it. I just saw you throw this cup into my yard. You? No. Get out of here. Gotta be the worst liar I've ever seen, bro. How do you lie this bad? This man's never cheating on his wife. Yo, ladies, look for a man like Dale. Okay? So it took me a couple of days before I got back out there with a trash bag to clean up the cups myself. And just like many Glad of you suggested down in the comments, I took the cups right over to Dale's no! house and dumped them all right at his front door. No! And then I was expecting him to come back over to my house and oh rage my at me God! at some point, but he never did. So the next day I went back over to his house and I saw that he had just kicked the cups to the side and put another sheet of cardboard on top. <laughs> so I guess to him that's a perfectly reasonable Yo, way to clean up What trash. is wrong with just this put guy? Cardboard on top. Thanks, Dale. All right, everybody. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what is wrong with him, bro? Calm down. Shut the off for the piano. But the woman's in no mood for relaxing. Oh, man. Seems like her roommate has things under control. But one way or another, she's oh! getting out. Oh no! As the man tries desperately to scramble to his feet, the woman just backs right out. Oh no! Oh hell no! Fortunately, she misses the man, but drags his scooter under the car. You broke the moped! Lake Worth Beach, Florida. What? A man is working on his car. and ignoring the screams for help coming from his house. <laughs> Neighbors are so concerned hey. that they've dialed 911. She needs help! <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me, Turns bro? Turns out the boy screaming for help is Rambo, a 40-year-old yellow-headed Amazon parent. His owner taught him the phrase as a joke. Dude, that's actually so scary, bro. Oh my god. But when you get up in the morning and step into that backyard, make sure you look both ways. Oh my god oh my god my heart just dropped chat my heart just dropped bro the dogs bro oh my god oh, it was so close dude hello hello they said they have a dog any animals in here yo hello? w guys w neighbors hello everybody out in this one Save the puppies. Yes. Come on. Come no, on. Corgi. Oh. Come, on. Come on. Oh, he wants to play. He wants to play. No, okay. Okay, Come go on. outside. Wow. Oh my God. That like looks fake. The blaze dude. destroys eight apartments in the 30 unit building. One person is taken to the hospital suffering smoke inhalation. Just because you're a granny doesn't mean I'm going to be nice about it. That shit was ass. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you're a granny. That shit was ass. But nobody was prepared for what happened next. What? Oh, my God. What? To believe it was 
unimaginable. The explosion devastates the entire neighborhood. Who the fuck did that, bro? Who was it? Somebody exposed Big Cheddar? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god, that one actually scared the fuck out of me. A dog named Atlas is trapped inside a half-frozen pond. Get up! He's paddling for his life, come on! desperately to keep his head above the freezing cold no, water. No fucking come on, bro! Anthony is finally able to get it over Atlas's head. Yes. And pull him to safety. Yes. Atlas is rushed yes. to the animal hospital. His temperature is so low, it doesn't even register on the thermometer. But after an overnight stay, and thanks to the neighborhood rescue effort, yes! he goes on to recover. Yes! I'm not listening. Yo, chat, rate his performance 1 through 10 right now. Rate his fucking performance 1 through 10. <laughs> Yo. Yo, gee, guys, we get so emotional when a puppy's involved, dude. It's because puppies, like, in no way should feel pain. You know what I mean? There's no way in any scenario a dog should feel pain. So we get very defensive and we get very emotional. When that happens.